if something is in its second century, it must be pretty special. We welcome to the semifinals of the 104th Marion County Tournament. Pike and Lawrence North, Mick Rivals meet for the first of at least two times this year with the winner moving on to tomorrow night's championship game. Tonight's game on ISC and My Indy TV, presented in part by Forum Credit Union, helping people live their financial dreams over 80 years with innovative products and services. Visit them online at forumcu.com. By Indiana State University, where Sycamores continually prove that real game changers wear blue. By Franciscan Sports Medicine. Visit franciscanhealth.org slash sports training for more information. By GXO Logistics, we engineer faster, smarter, leaner supply chains. Learn more at gxo.com. By Wabash College, visit Wabash today at wabash.edu. By Warner Financial, from investments in planning for retirement to partnerships and tax strategy, Warner Financial does it all. And by WGU Indiana, the University of U. Greg Rextraw and Bill Fenlin with you. I know, Bill, it's your first chance to see each of these two teams. What are you looking forward to the most about tonight's matchup? Well, you've got, on paper, you've got two even, really evenly matched teams. And uh, I think a lot of times in games like this, it comes down to the extra possession battle. And what I mean by that is when you got the ball, you got to take care of it. When you don't have the ball, you got to go get it. So you can't turn it over, and you got to create extra possessions on the offensive glass. We'll take this quick timeout. Starting lineups come your way next on ISC and My Indy TV. The Gridiron Gang is excited to now offer quarterback development training led by professional quarterback coach J.C. Boyce. From the beginner just getting started to the experienced seeking advanced refinement, Coach J.C. has worked with NFL, NCAA, high school, and youth quarterbacks. The fully comprehensive programs include both on and off field training with an age and skill level appropriate small groups. Coach JC's personalized approach accelerates the quarterback's learning curve and overall self-confidence. Other universities didn't fit into my life. They said I'd have to quit my job to go to school. They said it would take me four years to graduate. They said I have to take tests when they tell me to. They said my degree would cost a fortune. But I didn't have to listen to them. Because I have a university that listens to me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the University of U. Your life is on the go. Now your viewing habits can be on the go. With the ISC Sports Network app, your team is at your fingertips. You can download years worth of content from the ISC Sports Network library high school, college, special events, weekly and monthly shows, wherever you find your favorite app. And you can always find out more information at iscsportsnetwork.com. Ball here, Harris scores. Starting lineups being introduced. Lawrence North is the home team. Let's give you their starting five for, again, head coach Chris Giffen. That is still an adjustment to say. No longer Jack Key for the head coach of the Lawrence North Wildcats. Xavier Robinson, their leading score at 20 points a contest. Kobe Bowles at 14 points a basketball game. Maybe on Hampton, four and a half points. Miles Good, eight and a half. And Mace Hughes, four points and four rebounds a contest. For the opposite side, the visitors, the Red Devils of Pike, led by Bill Zick. Devin Woods is their main source of offense, their 5'11 senior, a four-year varsity player, a three-year starter, 19 points, three boards, and five assists a game. Cam Kasky, Joseph Anon, Damon Howard, and Avery Douglas round out the starting five. Bill Zick looking for his fifth Marion County Tournament Championship. Having won this event in his first year at Pike in 2011 and from 2015 through 2017. Our starting lineup brought to us by Franciscan Sports Medicine. If joint or muscle pain has you on the sideline, Franciscan Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Specialist get in the huddle to help you find the right game plan. Visit franciscanhealth.org slash sports training for more information. 
Coach, final thoughts for this one goes live. Well, I was just thinking as they were introducing the, the, the lineups that I was wondering how long uh, you're going to be known as Chris, not Jack Kiefer. Right. Giffen. I mean, that's, that's just got to be a, uh, hopefully it'll just be a year and he can settle settle in and just go by his own name. But uh, it's got to be, it's got to be interesting. Of course, Chris, the former girls coach, the one to state championship at LN, was a manager for Bob Knight. Learned from Steve Whitty in his days at Ben Davis High School. He has been around some legends. Jack's former assistant coach, the boys side at Lawrence North as well. And these two teams will see each other again on February the 17th. We'll have that game for you as well on the ISC Sports Network. Our first chance to see LN since early December. Hughes, the basket cut and scores it. Great drive, really took the elbow, forced the help, and a, a good pass on time for the layup. Hughes really one of three players back from last year's team that went 17 and seven and lost the eventual state champs in Cathedral in the sectional championship game at North Central. The Spike team was ousted in the first round of the tournament a year ago. Red Devils have won eight straight games. Douglas turns it over. The Pikes, something they do just 12 times a game. Robinson on the drive, contact not called. Anon, the rebound, he is fouled by Lawrence North. Got lucky there. Turnovers lead to easy baskets very often. Got to take care of the basketball. Xavier Robinson, 21 points, seven rebounds a game. The 6-1 guard, their leading rebounder. Also their highest end prospect as a sophomore. And a young man that saw significant minutes with a senior late group a year ago. Woods by Miles Good got fouled. And Devin Woods will get two quick free throws. Team defense is about court geography, right? Knowing where you would, where you will let him go, and where you would like him not to go, and uh, so far in the first couple of minutes, we've seen both teams get broken down to the middle of the floor. What's a young man that will play beyond his days at Pike High School? Exactly where that is going to be is yet to be determined. He makes them both. And I would say he's also got maybe better than an outside chance at being an Indiana All-Star. Does Woods? Pike wins on the chance to play in front of that game director and Mike Broughton tomorrow night on our coverage on ISC and my Indy TV. Little soft 2-2-1 full court pressure that time. Bowles misses, Anon the rebound, and there really is nobody from a size standpoint that matches up with Anon. Woods pulls from 16 and scores it. It's a 4-2, and once again, as you referenced, the 2-2-1 pickup by Pike and LN had a little problem with it. And I think that's going to be Pike Ball, absolutely. Yep, officials confer, but that's right. First LN giveaway. I'm not sure that was the press that fought, forced that or right. just trying to do a little too much at the end of it. it. was Hampton, the sophomore, that turns it over. We will see a good amount of this LN team over the next few weeks in ISC. They have their conference game against North Central next Friday night. Obviously the championship game if they get past this one. See him again hosting Carmel on February the 2nd. Douglas fires and scores. Douglas has been a frequent three-point shooter. He's not been a frequent maker of three-point shots. <laughs> Just his eighth connection on the season. But the Red Devils now have scored the last seven points. Well, he shot it like he, it was supposed to go in, so that's a good a good sign. Mace Hughes, the bucket. He's got both baskets for LN, and, and he really is their fifth leading scorer. Great role player, but not a guy that provides a lot of offense normally for the Wildcats. Good job attacking the press that time. They were able to get an easy basket out of it. Steps called. That goes against Cam Kasky. There's Hughes at the other end. Good job of letting Anand get airborne before he attacked the glass. Here's Robinson on the attack. Draws contact and 
Xavier Robinson will shoot two free throws. I think they were in pretty good shape right there. You got to make him make that tough shot. He's coming back with his right hand to his right shoulder into the defense. I think that was going to be a tough one to make. They bailed him out right there at the end. Robinson, a 72% free throw shooter on the season. And makes them both. You have to be quite the special talent to start at Lawrence North as a freshman, which he did virtually all of last year. Howard on the attack. Wrong-footed jump shot does not go, and Hughes, with a rather uncontested save of the rebound. Deep three, Robinson, not that time. Hampton, path clears, missed that one too. It has not exactly been a defensive clinic in the paint well, they by got, either side. You know, they got the extra possession there that we we're talking about. They got a wide open three on the press, extra possession on the offensive rebound, and missed a wide open layup. So you have to, you also have to capitalize on those opportunities in a game like this. I think these are two teams that, from a record standpoint, might be both a little ahead of projections going into the year. This Pike team had three or four very experienced players back, but not much lay of roster depth after that. They have rattled off eight consecutive wins, which is their longest winning streak since last year when they did the same. Well, talking to Coach Zick before the game, he, he was, I'm not going to say giddy, but he was pretty <laughs> happy with uh, where they find themselves right now. Always enjoy our conversation with Bill. His 35th year coaching Indiana High School basketball. Anon is tied up. Errol will keep it here to Pike. As is always the case in this first semifinal, crowd filing in at just past 6 o'clock on the south side. So the building we refer to as the Mecca of Marion County Hoops. Some people have to work, Greg. Sir, some of us, this is work. <laughs> Spot up three by Kasky does not Speak go. Speak for yourself. He's a 44% three-point shooter. Miles good left alone. He fires no, but there's Robinson. Like I said, for a guard, he rebounds exceedingly well. Seven boards a game and make it six in a row for LN. Douglas made one, didn't make the second. And Robinson fouled on the distribution. That'll be on Douglas, that'll be his second, and both teams now will get to their bench. Oriel Spates will check back in for Pike, or I should say check in for the first time. For LN, Miles Baker will check in. Miles, a 5'11 junior. Last time we saw Ellen was their rivalry win against Lawrence Central back in early December, and Miles had 11 off the bench in that game. Robinson pulls for three and left a crack in the backboard. Look ahead pass to a non. That's pretty good by the center to pick that up and get it up and in. Good finish. I thought they gave it to him in a, in a tough spot, and he handled it. His first bucket, a non has upped his production big time since a year ago. And as we mentioned his name, the ball finds him on defense. Both teams now with two quick turnovers. Anon tries a three, not necessarily what he is best suited for for this Pike team. Baker had a couple of trips up and down the floor, so he let it fly. That does not go. And a couple of possessions of open gym have broken out here at Who South Who says Park we need a shot clock in Indiana High School basketball? Few that know what they're talking about say that about Indiana <laughs> High School basketball. Howard in a tough spot. Here's Kasky on the attack. Nice take and got the bucket. Cam Kasky, a starter last year as a sophomore. Also a starting wide receiver on the football team at Pike. It's his first field goal. He averages 13 a game. Bowles slice the defense, misses. Put back is there. Stayed with it. Bowles the second leading scorer. Anon got fouled, and Joseph Anon takes a tumble, and he'll take two free throws. That was the classic example of the home run trot. So, so uh, Lawrence North gets the bucket at the basket, and then everyone kind of jogs back, trying to find their guy at about half court. Next thing you know, rim run. Got to follow him because you're not there. 
Tonight's game presented by Wabash College, over the nation's number one ranked alumni network and third ranked internship program. Two great reasons to consider a campus visit. We learn that Wabash is also nationally ranked for the excellence and accessibility of its faculty, the classroom experience, and their athletic facility. Make an appointment to visit Wabash by calling 765 361 6100 or visit wabash.edu. Bill may have to tune out for about 30 seconds in these broadcasts when he goes Wabash <laughs> Oh, I don't play that good. <laughs> I've got uh, one of my best friends and a seven-year assistant is the basketball coach at Wabash College. So Kyle Brummett doing a great job. You know, when they when they didn't play us, I was happy when they won. Roberts in the bucket the other end. He's got half of the LN 12. Tough shot that gets the bounce for Cam Kasky. A couple of more subs have checked in here for Lawrence North. Jacob Eads in for the first time, a 6'1 junior. And Ty Cunningham, a 6'1 senior. Again, it's not a very big LN team, which is rare to say that about the Wildcats. And Eads traveled, yep. Switched the pivot foot. Just got himself hemmed up against the sideline a little bit, and he was worried about the sideline. And while he was worried about it, he walked away from it. You've seen LN play eight already, which is usually about kind of their maximum rotation standpoint. See if Pike is interested in holding for one shot here. Spates in a tough spot. And a timeout, I believe, was called by Pike. A 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. This 30-second timeout presented by GXO Logistics. Unlock your potential with a career at GXO Logistics. Visit gxo.job slash Indiana today. That was a 30-second timeout that I think actually Devin Woods took that timeout, sensing that a turnover could be coming for the Red Devils. Well, they're coming out of a timeout, and uh, if you're going to burn one, you'd like to get a good shot out of it. So let's, let's see what uh, what kind of magic Coach Zick whips up here in this in this huddle. Hills team so far this year, this is their 13th game of the year. They've only played four home games so far this year have the Red Devils. They'll be home for almost the entire month of February. And as of now, we'll be there a couple of times on both February the 10th and February the 17th for games against North Central and in this rematch with LN as well. And Woods, a good look at the clock. It will likely be him. Great defense, though, to change that. And now Robinson races back. Robinson will lay it up and in. A rare miscue by the senior leads to eighth, the seventh and eighth points for Robinson. And that will lead us to that, our. That's that's about the worst case scenario coming out of the timeout. You don't get a you don't get a look, decent look, and you turn it over for a bucket. Ouch. 15-14. Pike the early lead after the first quarter to the Marion County semifinals on ISC and my Indy TV. Hi, my name is Jason Warner of Warner Financial an independent investment firm here in Indianapolis. With 10 years of experience as an independent advisor, we provide value to our clients by creating customized investment solutions, ranging from managed personal portfolios, 401k planning, and income distribution for retirement plans. We have built Warner Financial with a strong focus in research, diligence to all of our plans, and strong communication with every client. We would love the opportunity to show you our process with a no-cost consultation to discuss your financial future. McCulley and Todd! Oh, no! It's good. <laughs> this one is caught. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, wow. Dawson makes a great <laughs> catch. Spin, win, three, bury it for Leland Walker. Tie the game they do with the dunk by Malik Edmonds. What a play. Oh, my oh, 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 goodness. I feel a little momentum starting to fall in his way. That is oh. the end. Wrestler! Oh. Wrestler! Oh. Whoa! So as you see, LN about to inbound the basketball. Devin Woods went back to the bench and got some rosin on his hands. Clearly the ball you know, slipped yeah, out. I don't know what that stuff is. <laughs> that could be more of a placebo variety. Say, hey, that wasn't me that made that mistake. <laughs> Robinson, again, great rebound. And he's going to be fouled. It'll be on the floor. Third foul called against Pike. Underneath out of bounds coming up here. And we documented again, Robinson, their leading rebounder at 6-1. Foul goes against Josh Woods and just checked in. Well, he's going and getting it for sure. 
And that's what you do when you don't have it. Got to go get it. Well, Nan will check back in, and he is Pike's best rebounder at seven and a half boards a game. Kasky will get a breather. Anon, Kasky, and Woods all returning starters from a season ago. A bobble, Cunningham turns down a three. Offense primarily comes from Bowles and Robinson. Three by Baker, no. And that one will trickle right to the pike bench. Well defended by the Red Devils. That was a good defensive possession, it really was. Good court geography, keeping them out of the middle. And really a, uh, a fairly contested shot settled for that time. LN won this game the one time these two teams played last year. Pike made it to the Marion County semifinals last year as well. They got shellacked by Ben Davis in that game. LN drew Ben Davis in the opening round last year, and they were shellacked too as Woods from just inside of the arc nails an 18-footer. He kind of he gave him a little ball fake, and he just jumped with it, and it just gave him the space to go up, rise up, and knock that one in. Scoreboard mistakenly put that as a three for him. They have since corrected it. Cunningham gets the first bench points for LN. Spates steps into a three and drains it. He's a 46% three-point shooter. Second made three by the Red Devils. Now a long two by Baker does not go in Woods. Uses his strength to track down the loose ball. Mike a four-point lead looking to win a ninth consecutive game. Last time that happened was six years ago. And that included their last Marion County Tournament win. Anon scores it and a foul. Kind of had the angle there. It's a really good pass, and, and as a post player, that's what you would teach guys to do is kind of, if he throws it away from the from your body, go with the pass. The passer is basically telling you that you're gonna, that you got nobody behind you and you're gonna be able to make that play. Six point lead now, the largest for Pike, early in the second quarter. And it on, connects again. You know, there's some small college coaches in the building tonight, and I would imagine Anand might be one of the guys they are looking at as a 6'6 post. He has improved his game tremendously from last year. I would be. Cunningham misses everything, and Pike will let that one bounce towards their cheerleaders. Now, one of the guys I see, Mark Hester's done a great job of building a program from scratch at IU East. Much like Eric Eckelbarger at IU Kokomo, a lot of Marion County kids on each of those two teams in the River States Conference. Trying to find a nod. Woods will track it down. And Woods misses. Frankly, there's some coaches looking at him too. There's a nod, puts it up and in. Nine for a nod. Nine the lead by Pike. And Chris Giffen might be contemplating a timeout sooner rather than later. A nod's all over the place. Bowles fouled on the dish, hand check foul. Just the fourth whistle against Pike. Second foul on Josh Woods, so Douglas two, Woods two, and you'll see Cam Kasky check back in. Bill Zick led Pike to the state championship game in his second year back in 2012. Won three consecutive Marion County tournaments from 2015 through 2017. Center Grove, Shelbyville, and Perry Marini amongst his other stops along the way. Robinson, pretty move. And I want to say Coach Zick just recently won his 200th game at, at Pike. Pike is that correct, right? yep. And a moving screen going to be called against Pike. That'll go against Denon. Fourth Pike turnover. Mace Hughes, Miles Good will check back in. Cunningham and Eads will check out. And the starting five now back together again for the Wildcats. Miles Good's got his dad on the bench over there, who was a really good player at Manchester and was actually the head coach at Correct. Manchester for a couple of years. Bowls the miss. Woods ricocheted that off the noggin of his teammates. Anon had it poked away. Good hands by Hughes. 
Bowles. Hampton is two underneath the backboard, and yeah, it's going to be touched in the effort to save it by Woods. He was out of bounds. Both teams really looking to play in transition, and you know the key to that is can you play fast without turning it over? Right? Can you play fast and still be efficient? And uh, we're getting a little bit of both right here. These teams are, are good enough at the guard spot. They can usually do that. Somebody forgot Kobe Bowles, but he misses again. Bowles is one of the better players for LN. He's having a rough night so far. Just two points for Kobe. A little bit, little bit of a down screen coming out of the out-of-bounds play. The guy guarding the screener showed on the cutter a little bit, and the screener just slipped to the basket wide open. Midway through quarter number two. Pike enjoying a seven-point lead. Steps called. Turnovers racking up against Pike at six. They average is 12 a game. This Pike team started one and three, and we saw one of those. And they lost at Ben Davis on December the 2nd. Two of those three losses by the Red Devils are against two of the top three teams in the state. The only other ones was Brownsburg. Robinson got it. That's a three. A Xavier Robinson, 13 of the LN, 21. Kasky the turn. No. Howard keeps the possession alive. A little bit of an ill-advised quick shot there. Lucky to get it back. Let's see what they do with this possession. Spades made one from the opposite corner. Doesn't get that one to go. Now a chance to make it a one-score game, this time down for Lawrence North. Robinson the slip. Hughes missed it. And an odd. Had it. Lost it. Jump ball will be called. And again, the arrow points the way of Pike. Avery Douglas will check back in for the Red Devils. Spates will have a seat. We thought we'd have a couple of really good matchups tonight. The second one's going to be Ben Davis and Southport. Of course, Ben Davis, the unquestioned number one in the state, 16-0. But the team that has given them their toughest battle this year, the Southport Cardinals here in this building. Back on Wednesday, November the 30th, Steel. And a foul that prevented a dunk for Lawrence North. Unfortunately, on Douglas, that's his third. But again, that prevented an easy deuce for LN. A lot of quickness on the floor tonight. Very guard oriented game. Guys really getting after each other defensively. This is the old World Basketball League, pretty much 6 4 and under. <laughs> Robinson, pocket picked. It's the fourth LN giveaway. Howard turned down the trailer three. Douglas, offensive foul, and that young man just picked up his fourth foul. And we're not to halftime yet. And they were trying to get him out of the game. Game never stopped in time, and so with that, you know, Douglas it's one, one, for a one while. of those deals. He sees his sub at the bench, and he's like, Maybe I need to do something before That's I have right. to get out of here. <laughs> Meredith into a play sim. It's a little bit deeper than Pike normally goes. Kind of have to with Douglas with four fouls. Hampton, left hand no. And LN has missed a lot of good looks in the paint. Got all the way to the rim, attacking the elbow right there. And then Woods loses it. Hampton can't finish. Both teams. Leaving some points on the board. Howard steps into one, and Damon Howard gets the three. He's the third at different pipe player to connect from downtown. These two teams are playing as if they are renting the facility. <laughs> A quick moving first half. Bowles lines it up. Not that time. Meredith. Howard looking for an outlet. Meredith lines it up. Can't get that to go. And Robinson collects another rebound. But then trying to weave through traffic. Woods was waiting on him. And Woods will score it. Kevin Woods with eight. 
Yeah. Both coaches kind of letting their kids kind of play they through are, the ups and downs. They are, get, they are getting up and down the floor, exposing the basketball maybe a little too much to each other. Robinson as a guard using that strength and size to post. Just couldn't finish. Woods will pull from 21. No. Now Hampton on the take and score it. So Davian Hampton gets his first bucket. He averages four and a half points a Good game. physical drive that time in transition. One four high set here for Pike. And Woods just basically saying it's clear out time here at the end of the half. Kasky, wave it off, offensive foul. And that is now 10 turnovers for Pike in the first half. You know, the, the one of the things that will negate quickness is stagnation, right? So you really can take advantage of your quickness when you get the ball moving side to side and you put the defenders in a bit of a closeout situation. And neither team is really committed to doing that yet. Robinson draws three defenders. Hampton all alone for three. Couldn't get that to go. And Difference in this game is simply LN has missed a lot of open looks in the first 16 minutes. First half of the semifinal of the books, Pike 30, LN 23. Stay tuned, halftime show comes your way next on ISC and by Indy TV. Wabash men are leaders. In this environment, self-governance is a way of life. Students develop strong leadership skills in classes and labs, on the field and stage, and in clubs and organizations. These men are prepared to take on campus and the world beyond. One in 10 of our graduates hold high leadership positions. Presidents, owners, founders, you name it. When you want to lead, you go to a leading school. Come to Wabash, lead more. Other universities didn't fit into my life. They said I'd have to quit my job to go to school. They said it would take me four years to graduate. They said I have to take tests when they tell me to. They said my degree would cost a fortune. But I didn't have to listen to them. Because I have a university that listens to me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the university of you. Shot at the buzzer. <laughs> My oh God. my goodness, what a Pretty. shot! Hello! Did it again. Hello! Made the highlight reel again. <laughs> that goes to Metro. All kind of room to run. Down the middle of the field, and he will not be touched. Jackson, hello! There we go. Stokes throws it. Caught ball ricochets! Wow. A huge hit! Wow! This has been an amazing display of goal scoring. First semifinal of the Marion County Tournament, Pike leading Lawrence North by a score of 30 to 23. Tonight's game from Southport Fieldhouse was presented by WGU Indiana. WGU is the state's fully accredited online university, offering more than 60 bachelor's and master's degrees in business, teaching, nursing, and IT. WGU Indiana exists to create pathways to opportunity for Hoosiers with a flexible model designed to meet you where you are in life and at a fraction of the cost of a traditional four-year university. Visit WGU.edu to start your journey towards degree completion. WGU, the University of You. We'll take this quick time out. We'll come back and get the thoughts of Coach Fenland on half number one. Red Devils lead by seven. Back after this on ISC and my Indy TV. Hey, Coach fans, it's your favorite quarterback hater, Rob Mathis, number 98. To date, the Gridiron Gang Foundation and I have provided over 300 scholarships to Indiana youth athletes with on and off-field life skills development. 
Our scholarship program has been transformational for many families. Donate today for a chance to watch a Colts game with Robert in the Gridiron Game Field Suite at Lucas Oil Stadium. Text Mathis to 765-739-GANG to donate today. Go Colts! Hi, my name is Jason Werner of Werner Financial, an independent investment firm here in Indianapolis. With 10 years of experience as an independent advisor, we provide value to our clients by creating customized investment solutions ranging from managed personal portfolios, 401k planning, and income distribution for retirement plans. We have built Warner Financial with a strong focus in research, diligence to all of our plans, and strong communication with every client. We would love the opportunity to show you our process with a no-cost consultation to discuss your financial future. is on the go now your viewing habits can be on the go with the isc sports network app your team is at your fingertips you can download years worth of content from the isc sports network library high school college special events weekly and monthly shows wherever you find your favorite app and you can always find out more information at iscsportsnetwork.com Halftime show rolls along here on ISC and my Indy TV. Pike leading Lawrence North 30 to 23. Tonight's game presented in part by Indiana State University. Graduating outstanding Sycamore since 1865. Real risk takers, real achievers, and real game changers wear blue. Find out more at indstate.edu. Greg Regstraw, Bill Fenlon with you. Coach, your thoughts on half number one? Fast. Fast. I mean, beyond the fact that the time lapse was pretty short, uh, the, t the teams are playing very, very fast. And I think that presents you with a couple of challenges. One is, you know, you're looking to score in transition, but can you recognize when you don't have it and get, and get to the next thing? And I think both teams have uh, been pretty good at that at times and struggled with that at times. But I think the difference, and you mentioned it earlier, in the game right now is, uh, you know, LN has just left a few more buckets out there. They've done a good job of attacking Pike's uh, pressure, and then they're getting to the rim and, and coming up empty way too often. Pike 30, LN at 23. What is usually our Wabash College trivia question, we'll take a different tack with it when we come back. You're watching the Marion County semifinals on ISC and My Indy TV. At Forum Credit Union, our small business professionals work with local companies to help them prosper. We know that running a small business is more than a full-time job, and our services give you the guidance and support your business needs. Visit forumcu.com to see how. At Forum Credit Union, we help members plan for life's major milestones. Our team of wealth advisors work with members at every stage, from changing jobs and 401ks to creating wealth plans for future generations. Learn more at forumcu.com. Indianapolis is the heart of college basketball, and every March, the home of the Horizon League Men's and Women's Basketball Championships. Four men's teams and four women's teams look to reach the horizon and punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Semifinal action takes place Monday, March the 6th, and the Horizon League champions are crowned on Tuesday, March the 7th. Visit horizonleague.com slash indy for more information and to score your tickets today. Once again, that's horizonleague.com slash indy. McCulley in time. Oh, no. It's good. <laughs> this one is good. Oh, there you oh, go. Wow. Dawson makes a great <laughs> catch. Spin, win, three, bury it for Leland Walker. Tie the game, they do, with a dunk by Malik Edmonds. What a play. Oh, my oh, 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 goodness. I feel a little momentum starting to fall Ellen's way. That is oh. the Wrestler. Wrestler. <laughs> Whoa. The drive, the take, foul, <laughs> and it goes. Lobbing it to the back of the end zone. They're going to say it's a touchdown. Left foot gets through. Goal for Vargas. Hamilton will score.
Both teams getting ready for third quarter action with Pike leading 30-23. Now, normally this is where we have the Wabash College trivia question. And in fact, last weekend on the trivia question, the answer to said question was Merlin Nice, as in one of the stars of the 1982 National Championship team at Wabash College, the Little Giants leading scorer in both 83 and 84. Well, sadly, Merlin passed away unexpectedly this week. Merlin, after his great playing days at Wabash, was a longtime small college and high school basketball official, and Merlin's loss is being felt all across the state of Indiana, both on the Wabash College campus in his home community of Wabash. He went to Southwood High School, and again, Merlin, a good man, gone too soon. Godspeed, Merlin. We'll pick back up with the Wabash College trivia question in the halftime of our next game. Pike leads LN 30-23. Third quarter action comes your way next on ISC and my Indy TV. Hi, my name is Jason Werner of Werner Financial, an independent investment firm here in Indianapolis. With 10 years of experience as an independent advisor, we provide value to our clients by creating customized investment solutions, ranging from managed personal portfolios, 401k planning, and income distribution for retirement plans. We have built Warner Financial with a strong focus in research, diligence to all of our plans, and strong communication with every client. We would love the opportunity to show you our process with a no-cost consultation to discuss your financial future. is on the go now your viewing habits can be on the go with the isc sports network app your team is at your fingertips you can download years worth of content from the isc sports network library high school college special events weekly and monthly shows wherever you find your favorite app and you can always find out more information at iscsportsnetwork.com Back to live action at Southport Fieldhouse. You have not missed a thing. Opening possession of the quarter. LN trailing by seven. Coach, what do you expect to see here early in quarter number three? Well, I think both teams have to be just a little more efficient, take a little better care of the basketball, and capitalize on the easy opportunities when they have them, and I think that's going to end up being the difference in the game. Of note, Josh Woods on the floor for Pike because Avery Douglas, who is a starter, had four first half fouls. So Douglas starts this half on the bench. The veteran Woods, who was a role player off the bench last year for Pike, only a point and a half a game, but over four rebounds a contest. He joins Devin in terms of the Woods on the floor for the Red Devils. Speaking of Devin, there he is. He lost it, poked away by Miles Good, and Good waltzes down to lay that one up and in. And Bill Zick thought there was some contact there that might have been missed. I don't know, he kind of laid it out there in front of him. I thought it was a good steal. And frankly, contact's been allowed going both directions. It's not atypical for a Marion County matchup. That There's was a, a clean steal, no problem, and good. Second verse, same as the first, lays it up and in. There's a lot of quick hands out there, and you better think about ball security if you're a ball handler on either one of these teams. And for the first time in a while, this is a one-score game at 30-27, and Howard throws it away, and Partner, that is three consecutive pike turnovers to start the half. Not the way you'd like to start it. Got to settle in a little bit. It's coming from different guys for different reasons. So three this time down could tie it. The winner gets a date in tomorrow night's Marion County Championship game. Robinson, the spin, he's got 15. So three straight turnovers and three straight buckets off those turnovers by the Wildcats. Well, when we talk about capitalizing, that's what we're talking about. A 30-second timeout, and we will keep it right here. So early into quarter number three. This 30-second timeout presented by our presenting sponsor in Warner Financial. 
The firm utilizes customized investment solutions to meet your financial goals. From investments in planning for retirement to partnerships and tax strategy, Warner Financial does it all. Call 317-735-9202. Learn more about how you can secure your financial future. Pike just really not locked in here to start the to start the first ha second half, and uh, they're going to have to get that squared away. I know that that's what that timeout was all about, and we'll see if uh, if the message got through. Pike has used both of their thirties there. Any remaining timeouts will be of the full variety. And you see the foul on Robinson. Coaches Gifford and Good thought that might have been another clean play. Official <laughs> says otherwise. And that's the call that Coach Zick's been looking for. Bill Zick now 13th amongst active coaches in career wins at 462. Howard from 14, no. Kasky, no. And Anon couldn't hang on to it. So Robinson gets another rebound and now an LN bucket. They are in front for the first time since it was 8-7, and there it is. That's two great individual moves in a row by Robinson, just getting it to his spot, knocking in two floaters back to back. So an 8-0 spurt to start the half. Spades looking to change that and does. His second made three off the bench for Pike. 33-31. Three-point shooting has been a difference in this game. Four threes made by Pike, just one for Lawrence North. Good off one foot, no. Nice cut to the basket by Kasky. No, but there's Anon hanging around the rim. Anon with 11. Forced the help with that drive and it left Anon by himself to stick that miss back in. Robinson, a stumble. Bowles able to knock it away from Pike. Now the basket cut by Robinson and elevates over Anon, couldn't finish, but had his hands on it, lost it. Howard will pull from 14. Nope, changes his mind. Kasky the miss. But Anon, the hustle and the reward for it. I really like uh, how hard that kid is playing tonight. He is crashing the glass every time the shot goes up and doing a decent job of finishing around the rim. He averages 12 and a half and seven and a half. I'd say he's around both of those already. Robinson stepped through, left something to be desired. Anon gets another board. From a scoring standpoint, Anon's got 13. Woods, some broken field running, couldn't get the shot to go. Hampton the rebound and finds Bowles. Bowles will pull. That does not go. Kasky jumped a little early. Doesn't matter, Hughes tips that out of bounds. And we continue to play some significant stretches of this game without a whistle. Well, that last shot by Woods is one of those examples of, you know, do you have it? Do you have anything in transition or are you just forcing the issue? And, uh, it looked to me like maybe pulling it out and getting into getting into something that moves the basketball might have been more advised. Spates, the sidewinder, does not go. And Hughes and Miles Baker had a game of you got it. Indiana State University replay. Lead was brief for LN at 31-30. Pike has scored the last seven. Winner gets either Ben Davis or Southport tomorrow night at seven here on ISC in my Indy TV. A non-foul. That's me on Robinson, and if my count is correct, waiting for the board to reflect that is correct. That's three. And 
That's kind of a big deal for Lawrence North. He's going to have to sit, and they're a different team with him on the sidelines. Yeah, that, that's that's for sure. Anon started his move without ever really seeing the defense. He kind of got lucky. They bailed him out by fouling. And Woods lost the handle again. Not been his best night. 14 turnovers for Pike. Bowles, you say the same thing about Kobe. He's getting good looks, and none of them are falling. He averages 14 a game. He's sitting on two. Howard all the way down, scoop and score. And a timeout going to be taken by Lawrence North. A full timeout will step aside. 2.15 to play here in the third quarter. Pike on a 9-0 run. The lead is now 8. It's the Marion County semifinals on ISC and my Indy TV. Wabash always fights. Our motto brings the spirit of competition to everything we do. In top-notch athletics, we have a championship pedigree that is unrivaled. Off the field, we boast outstanding theater, music, and choral programs, intense intramurals, gaming, and more. The Wabash experience doesn't end at the classroom. Whether you play to win or just for fun, this is the place to be. Come to Wabash. Play more. Tonight's game from the Southport Fieldhouse brought to us by the Hoosier Shooting Academy. Combine cutting edge technology with old school work ethic to make your game better at the Hoosier Shooting Academy. Go see Paul at 465 in Brookville Road and always available online at HoosierShooting.net. Greg Rakestraw and the man that spent 30 years on the sidelines at Greencastle, DePaul University, Bill Fenlon. He's here on ISC and My Indy TV. I'm having fun. Good. That's what it's all about. Giveaway by LN. They have not been as generous with giving it away as Pike has. So to put this in perspective, Pike is minus eight on the turnovers, plus eight on the scoreboard. Full court man pickup here by Which LN. This tells you when they're not turning it over, yep, they're making buckets. And LN is simply not. And I'm not sure there's been many. I'm sure there's been some of the bad shot variety as Bowles, who has missed a lot of close shots. Recovers on defense and swats that away. Deemed to be touched last by Devin Woods. Great play by Bolts. If the shot's not going down, find other ways to help your team. Bowles did just that. After scoring the first eight points of the half, LN's been sitting on 31 now for a while. I'd really like to see Lawrence North moving the ball, letting it hit three or four sides of the floor to try to negate some of this quickness from Pike. The so Bulls on the drive, and let's see if, after having a rough shooting night, as Spates gets whistled for the foul, he can kind of get something going from the line. Bulls a 71% free throw shooter. Tonight's game presented in part by the original Gridiron Gang, who believes that budget limitations shouldn't lead to football limitations. Go to the original gridirongang.com and click on the Foundation tab to learn more about how their training services can be provided at limited or no cost to underrepresented communities and members of military families. The original Gridiron Gang developing skills on and off the field. Bowles makes them both. Howard fouled. Third team foul against Lawrence North. A little bit late. Looked like he got him early. And then when he lost the ball, he went ahead and fouled. Pike overloading that far side of the floor. That's from our vantage point, near side, as you see it on your screen. And the safety valve wasn't there. Cunningham, then Cunningham is fouled by Kasky. 
and add another turnover to the pike total. Kasky picks up his second foul. There's not been a double-digit lead in this game. Pike's eight-point lead at 39-31, the largest going in either direction. A pair of nine-win teams, whoever gets to 10, plays the Marion County title tomorrow. Bowles stripped. Great find, and Cunningham throws it down. Bozick asking for a three-second call, didn't get it. Now full court pickup by LM and a timeout called by Pike to prevent a turnover. This will be a full timeout. Let's go ahead and take one with him. 39.6 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Pike's lead is down to four as you're watching an ISC in my Indy TV. At Forum Credit Union, we provide smart ways to borrow money for life's planned and <laughs> unplanned expenses. We also have fun, easy ways to save money. See how Forum can help you with your financial goals at forumcu.com. At Forum Credit Union, we know strong communities invest in education. That's why the Forum Foundation has given over $800,000 to local educators and students pursuing their collegiate dreams. Learn how Forum gives back at forumcu.com. Your life is on the go. Now your viewing habits can be on the go. With the ISC Sports Network app, your team is at your fingertips. You can download years worth of content from the ISC Sports Network library. High school, college, special events, weekly and monthly shows, wherever you find your favorite app. And you can always find out more information at iscsportsnetwork.com. Let's thank our tremendous ISC Sports Network crew. Thank you to Dennis Glover, Jordan Shue, Vince Morales, Rob Lynch, and Mr. Tennessee Waltz himself, Alan Hughes. Alongside Bill Fenland, Greg Rakestraw with you. A few back it towards our vantage point. Pike got a two timeouts. They've called a couple for turnover prevention purposes in this game. A little bit of a I don't want it, you take it kind of game right now. And uh, Whoever's going to take care of the ball here down the stretch in this last quarter, probably going to win this basketball game. Good look by Woods. He's now got 10. And he averages a team high 19 per game. And every time that LN's gotten close, Pike has then found some distance in rather short order. Bowls on the bounce. Clock is on your screen. Bowls both on time and on target. See if that gets him on track offensively. Well, he's gotten there a lot, and uh, that's the first time he's really rung the bell like you, you, you thought it was supposed to go in. So maybe that'll get him going. A His bit. second field goal, four point lead, going to quarter number four. Red Devils lead at 41 37 on ISC and my Indy TV. Hi, my name is Jason Warner of Warner Financial, an independent investment firm here in Indianapolis. With 10 years of experience as an independent advisor, we provide value to our clients by creating customized investment solutions, ranging from managed personal portfolios, 401k planning, and income distribution for retirement plans. We have built Warner Financial with a strong focus in research, diligence to all of our plans, and strong communication with every client. We would love the opportunity to show you our process with a no-cost consultation to discuss your financial future. Ball here, Harris scores. Greg Rakestraw, glad to have Bill Fenlon up from Florida with us, enjoying his life after coaching. His days at DePaul University, Rose Holm and other stops as well. 41-37, little 1-3-1 look here, a little trap by LN to start the quarter. And a 10-second violation. And Bill Zick wasn't sure about that. Then he kind of looks up at the clock, goes, oh yeah, there's 7.48 left to go on the quarter. That is the right call. Yep, good call. Pretty good job of coming out and showing them some little something they haven't seen, and they weren't quite ready to adjust to it. 
And that is a visual call. Our referee looks up, sees that more than 10 seconds have come off the clock. That is the right call, and a hold going to be called on Damon Howard. No one happy about that either. That would have been a turnover. Will be underneath it's, out of bounds. It's definitely going to be a turnover. They, yeah. they didn't have the high low. He threw it anyway. You can see on the replay, had a little bit of a little bit of jersey there. Good Howard. Robinson up and under. Anon, the closeout slowed him down. And now it's 3v2. But Spates forgot one important thing, the ball. And another giveaway by Pike. Pike is leading despite having 17 turnovers early in the fourth quarter. You know, neither one of those guys liked that play, but I'd like to see him come together a little bit on the way back down the floor. It's a negative play, but you've got to find a way to turn it into a positive. That time Spades got caught up in the wash, got lost in the shuffle of that screen. Couldn't close out the shooter, but Bowles misses. Woods from 21, yes sir. Woods is a 41% three-point shooter. It's the first one he's made tonight. It's a seven-point game. He's a very talented young guy with really good ball skill. And I think that's off of Robinson's leg. Yep, of course the turnover, out of bounds. And some pretty quick hands. Yeah. Good little stretch from him. He's just been a little too casual with it at times and turned it over probably a little more than he'd like in this game. And Spates again. That has turned into the Bermuda Triangle for Coriel Spates. And Avery Douglas will check back in for Pike. Robinson the miss, Anon the rebound. And again, the story on Douglas, he sat the entire third quarter with four fouls. He picked up his fourth in the second quarter. Woods will be called for steps. Look for contact that wasn't given. Eads deemed to have successfully pulled the chair that time defensively. The lead is seven. And ben Davis and Southport follow this one, both on ISC and on my Indy TV. Thanks to our partners at Circle City Broadcasting for bringing all three of the semifinals and championship games to you. Bowles a miss, Eads the rebound. Offensive rebounds have not been as prominent for LN in half number two as they were in the first half. Both teams doing a little bit better job of defensive rebounding. Miles good for three, got it. Good recognition of the double team where that was coming from by Lawrence North. Good was all in the corner and knocked it down. Really took their time on that possession. They found three sides of the floor. Defense had a hard time recovering back out to that three-point shot. It'll be a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here on the 30-second timeout as Good connects on his first three of the game. He is a 45% three-point shooter. Tonight's game presented in part by Warner Financial. Firmer utilizes customized investment solutions to meet your financial goals. From investments in planning for retirement to partner Simpson tax strategy, Warner Financial does it all. Call 317-735-9202. Learn more about how you can secure your financial future. So back to a four-point game with five and a half minutes left to go on this one. Looks like LN going to stick with that 1-3-1. Of course, in the days of Jack Kiefer, this was a team that would play a mix of both man-to-man -man and zone. Anon hangs on after the bump. Deep three, Woods gets the friendliest of rolls. He did the bowling alley guy kind of body English that one in. A little Ernie McCracken to get that one to go. <laughs> he kind of waved it in. Bowles fouled on the drive. Fourth team foul against Pike. That'll be on Cam Kasky, his third, and take a look. There he is, see him? He's, he's moving here, moving to his left, moving back to his right. Got it to go. Had it the entire way. 
Robinson, the three, got it. That's his third field goal since halftime. He's got 20. It's his second made three. Again, the sophomore, very high level guard recruit. Just 21 a game. Teams exchanging buckets to start quarter number four. Kasky, good find, better recovery by Good. Really good recovery. I thought he had him there. Good thing Vince Morales is wearing that safety helmet down there on the baseline camera. In case would have hit him in the head. Or worse, our camera. Everybody's fine down there. They change it into a man-to-man -man on the out of bounds. Woods pulls from 16, missed it wide right. And the rebound corralled by Robinson. It's got a chance to make it a one-possession game. Cunningham had all day and left it short. And Douglas had it, lost it, eats, scraps for it. And a timeout taken by LN to maintain the possession. See if this is a full or a 30. Going to be a 30-second timeout, so one more time, we'll keep it right here. This 30-second timeout presented by GXO Logistics. Unlock your potential to career at GXO Logistics. Visit gxo.job slash Indiana today. Both teams now with two timeouts remaining and both of the full variety. So, Bill, with 4.12 left to go, what's going to be the difference in a four-point game? I, I I think it's still ball security, right? I think I think that uh, both teams have been a little lax taking care of the basketball, and um, if they can just maintain possession and put a little pressure on on the other guy, that's what's going to be the difference in the game. Take care of it, maybe get some second and third shots when the when the when you miss, and. Uh, Gain some extra possessions here down the stretch. Hampton will check in next stoppage in play for Lawrence North. Woods trying to pick the pocket of Robinson. Now Bowles with an open lane, lays it up and in. When Woods gambled, it didn't get there, put Pike at a disadvantage. Now a two-point game. And Cunningham run it perfectly. He's had one dunk. How about two? And how about a tie game? Ball security. 20th Pike turnover. And Pike gonna worry about a 10 second violation. And they're gonna get a timeout before the 10 second call. It is a full one, we will step aside. 3.35 left, nothing settled yet. We're tied at 47 as you're watching the Marion County Tournament on ISC and my Indy TV. At Forum Credit Union, we make it easy to focus on what matters most, removing unneeded stress and worry. From making secure mobile payments to earning cash back on everyday purchases, we've got you covered. See more at forumcu.com. At Forum Credit Union, we know it's not always easy to manage your finances. That's why we post quick tip videos and infographics every month to help you with all of life's big and small financial decisions. Follow us today and access free resources at forumcu.com. McCulley in time. Oh, no! It's good. <laughs> this one is good. Oh, there you oh, go. Wow. Oh, wow. Dawson makes a great <laughs> catch. Spin, win, three, bury it for Leland Walker. Tie the game, they do, with a dunk by Malik Edmonds. What a play. Oh, my oh, 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 goodness. I feel a little momentum starting to fall in his way. Got it in oh. the air. Wrestler. <laughs> Wrestler. <laughs> Whoa. Back at Southport Fieldhouse, tie game. Pike has led virtually the entire time. Led by eight at 39-31. It was a four-point game going to quarter number four. Back-to-back -back buckets by LN. So Pike's had a bunch of chances to kind of pull away and have never been able to do it. So let's see how they handle this mentally down the stretch now that it's a tie game. And normally when you do that, it costs you. Howard finds Josh Woods for his first bucket of the game. Woods getting some late minutes. Douglas currently on the bench. With the assist to Howard, Howard gonna be called for the foul. Just the fifth team foul. And this has been a game of minimal free throws. Pike is five of five from the line. LN is four of four.
Hampton gets downhill. Bowles for the lead. Got it. Kobe Bowles with 11. His first made three. His defender was, wasn't really helping on that drive, but he wasn't out on the shooter either. You got to maintain your defensive discipline in that situation. Bowles had a lot of misses in the lane, especially in the first half, but he has stepped his game up as expected here in half number two. Yeah, he's hung in there and really been good the last 10 minutes of this game. Again, a junior, but a second-year varsity player. There was really a seven-man rotation last year for LN. Three of those players in Hughes, Bowles, and Robinson back this year. Woods breaks one way, Robinson the other. Robinson the steal. Give him the bucket and the foul. 22 for Xavier Robinson. At some point, you know, you're playing in a game like this, and there's a ton of steals, and guys are really selling out to go after it. You might want to step and meet passes, right? Because guys are just poking it away from behind, and another step towards the ball is probably going to draw a foul. There's another one almost. But Robinson the miss. Three in the corner to tie it for Kasky. No. And Hampton the rebound for Lawrence North. Now Bowles weaving his way through traffic. Doesn't miss that one. 13 for Kobe Bowles. All of a sudden, it's a five-point lead for LN. Great pace to that drive. Got to, when he gets to that spot, he looks awfully good. It's now a 14-2 run for Lawrence North. Pike is down to just one time not trying to stop this. Woods gets downhill. That one doesn't go. Looked good until the shot. And Robinson, before he would be fouled, Chris Giffen wanted a time. We will again keep it here. It is a full timeout. This timeout presented by Scott Nichols of State Farm Insurance. Some things in life are automatic, like State Farm agent Scott Nichols offering surprisingly great rates on auto insurance. Give Scott Nichols a call here at Indy. We'll get on the west side next to Ben Davis High School. And you can be automatically happy you did. Like a good neighbor, State Farm and Scott Nichols are there. All right now, how does the mindset change for LN? They've been chasing this game the entire time. I got the ball in a five-point lead. Well, I'd be really surprised if LN doesn't come out and just kind of try to spread it out a little bit, give uh, Bowles a little more room to maybe get to those spots if he needs to, but, you know, really drag, drag Pike out, create off the dribble, or go to the free throw line. I mean, at some point, you're a minute 53, you've got no shot clock, they're going to have to foul if they're not able to turn him over. Robinson with 22 to lead LN. Bowles with 13. Those guys are almost literally on their averages. They combine to average 35 a game, and they're at 35, the two of them right now. Cunningham's been a spark off the bench with six. Well, Robinson's been good all night, and Bowles has been great the last 10 minutes. So let's see what, uh, what either one of those two guys are going to do, but I think if if they're the, if it's going to get shot, they're the ones that need to shoot it. Pike, next foul, puts LN on the free throw line for the one plus the bonus. Hampton, Cunningham, and the game of keep away is on. Already about 20 seconds off the clock on this possession. LN's not looking at threes at this point. They'll foul Cunningham. They will take their chances from the line. Will Pike, Spates picks up the foul. Cunningham shooting free throws for the first time tonight. Cunningham, a 6'1 senior. Cunningham, one of eight LN players to play. One of six so far in the scoring column. And gets the roll here too. Three possession two game. Big, two big points right there. It had to be three, but it has to be points. Woods agrees with that and takes the two. He's got 18, full court pickup by Pike. And then a foul against Howard. 
And it'll be Miles Good to the free throw line, who is an 83% shooter. The foul on Howard will be his third. I don't think they were trying to foul him right there. Uh, and certainly this isn't the guy you want to foul at 83%. But, um, and they still had enough time to maybe get it in the hands of somebody that they would rather foul, but it didn't happen. Good connects. LN with such confidence in his shot that they had backed off everybody off the line. Now they'll bring Hampton up, and rolls are the same. But that's as much to apply a little token pressure on a make as anything else. Makes them both. Just clutch free throws down the stretch by LN. Howard, runner, got it. Timeout going to be called by Bill Zick. They'll take their final timeout with a minute five left to go. Howard now is seven. Howard on the make. This timeout presented by our friends at virtual announcer and Aaron Pittman. Make your game day experience absolute best by hiring Aaron, and if he can't be there, He'll be your virtual announcer. And that's for any sport, not just hoops. Find out more and just how affordable it can be at virtual announce on social or by calling Aaron at 317-800-0612. I think it comes down to kind of what we talked about at the beginning of the game. Take care of it when you got it. And uh, Pike really didn't take care of it most of the game. And it looks like it's there's a good chance it's going to come back to bite him here at the end. Even though they scored it and led most of the game, you know, their inability to really take care of the basketball has, uh, has given LN the extra possessions that they needed to, to take control here down the stretch. Three of the four teams that reached the semifinals, members of the MIC. Three of the four teams that reached semifinals also in the same sectional. Ben Davis, Pike, and Southport, all part of a seven-team group this year that kind of covers the south and west sides of Indianapolis. A little diamond in one look here by Pike. Cunningham throws it away. Woods missed it. And Bowles will track it down. Then Bowles is fouled. And Woods puts his head back in frustration knowing he missed a golden opportunity. Well, that's a tough break. That's exactly what you want to do right there. Had a good trap. Coaxed him into a turnover. And then just couldn't knock that little bunny in. Spades will pick up the foul, his third. Ninth team foul, so one plus the bonus. Bulls two for two tonight. 71% on the season. Just one miss from the line tonight for Lawrence North. Again, they haven't gone a lot. They hit the big ones down the stretch. By the way, Ellen does have a couple of fouls to give if needed. Bowles with 15, 13 of those in the second half. Howard, left hand, no. A non put back, yes. A non with 15. Link the court pass to Robinson. Robinson, frankly, wants to be fouled. Doesn't want to give the ball yep. up. Good decision by him. Probably had a little bit of an advantage, but, you know, the clock is the thing that you're worried about right now. As Woods checks back in, Josh Woods for Pike. Let's thank our friends at Indiana State University. Graduating outstanding Sycamore since 1865. Real risk takers, real achievers, and real game changers wear blue. Find out more at indstate.edu. By the way, that foul was on Avery Douglas. He fouls out again. He was the young man that you got to be a real basketball nerd of age to get this reference. He pulled a Clyde Drexler. Four fouls in the first half. Do you remember the game in which Clyde picked up four fouls in the first half, Bill? I do not. The national championship game oh, against yeah, NC yeah, State. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Woods the bucket. He's got 20. But again, because Pike has no timeouts, that clock is going to keep rolling. LN basically has five seconds to inbound the ball. Robinson is then fouled in the front court. 
with 24 seconds left to play. Not really Clyde's fault, though. No. Terry Gannon took a tremendous charge by wrapping his arms around the legs of Clyde well, as he was going up for a Also, shot. Guy Lewis didn't have to keep him in there with, with four. Also a fair point. <laughs> Robinson connects. He's now got 25. Can't believe the 40th anniversary of that game is a wow. couple of months. Thank yep. you for reminding me. You and I, are, yeah, we, we <laughs> both feel that saying that. You're not alone on that front. Again, timeout called by LN. Again, we'll keep it right here. This timeout presented by Pat Sherry and Family Source Insurance. There's Diamond Independence. That applies to your insurance as well. Family Source Insurance works with eight different brands to ensure you get the best rates, period. Two great locations to serve you in Greenfield and on the south side. And always available online at FamilySourceInsurance.com. Southport and Ben Davis. I think it was about 25 minutes after the conclusion of this one for that game to tip off and get started. And Ben Davis at 16-0, off to their best start in 29 years. If they win tonight, they'll be off to their best start since 1936. Ben Davis has been That's around. That's good, right? It's not bad. Ben Davis has been around since 1892. They've been playing basketball since 1917. And their head coach back then was John Wooden's brother. In 1917? 1935-36, okay. they right. started 19-0. Okay. Wow. Maurice Catwood. Howard. His runner, good, but again, the clock will just keep rolling. Howard with nine. Now Hampton finds good, tipped away, taken away. Josh Woods, no, and Miles good. Took quite the bump that time. Another opportunity there for Pike, just couldn't convert it. It'll be kind of a night of missed opportunities for the Red Devils. Bit, that was still gonna be a little bit of a too little, too late situation, I think. But you know, anything can happen. Right. So as good goes the free throw. Now let's thank our buddy Anthony Bennett and ADP. You know that ADP pays one in six Americans. You know, if you mention ISC, you can get the full range of ADP services free for three months. That's right, ISC and ADP have partnered to help your small business, and it's free for three. Call Anthony Bennett at 317 427 8249 or email anthony.bennett at adp.com and mention ISC. Good. Makes one of two. Woods, three. Almost banked it in. Does not matter. Final score in game number one. Sees Lawrence North come from behind to beat Pike by a score of 65 to 59. We'll take this two minute timeout. Our between game show comes your way next as you're watching an ISC at my Indy TV. Hi, my name is Jason Warner of Warner Financial, an independent investment firm here in Indianapolis. With 10 years of experience as an independent advisor, we provide value to our clients by creating customized investment solutions ranging from managed personal portfolios, 401k planning, and income distribution for retirement plans. We have built Warner Financial with a strong focus in research, diligence to all of our plans, and strong communication with every client. We would love the opportunity to show you our process with a no-cost consultation to discuss your financial future. is on the go now your viewing habits can be on the go with the isc sports network app your team is at your fingertips you can download years worth of content from the isc sports network library high school college special events weekly and monthly shows wherever you find your favorite app and you can always find out more information at isc 
Shot at the buzzer. Oh, oh, she oh, got it. Oh, my goodness. goodness. What a Pretty. shot. Hello. Did it again. Hello. Made the highlight reel again. <laughs> that goes to Ventura. Whoa, all kinds of room to run. Down the middle of the field, and he will not be touched. Jackson, hello. There we go. Stokes throws it. Cup ball ricochets. Wow. A huge hit. Wow. This has been an amazing display of goal scoring. Game number one of the books. Lawrence North picks up their 10th win in 12 games this season. They were the back-to-back -back Marion County champions in 2020 and 2021. But to make it three and four years when they take on either Ben Davis or Southport tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Tonight's game presented by Forum Credit Union, helping people live their financial dreams over 80 years. Innovative products and services. Visit online at forumcu.com. By Indiana State University, where Sycamores continually prove that real game changers wear blue. By Franciscan Sports Medicine. Visit franciscanhealth.org slash sports training for more information. By GXO Logistics, we engineer faster, smarter leader supply chains. Learn more at gxo.com. By Wabash College, visit Wabash today at wabash.edu. By Warner Financial, from investments in planning for retirement to partnerships and tax strategy, Warner Financial does it all. And by WGU Indiana, WGU, the University of You. Greg Rakestraw, Bill Fenlon with you. Coach, your lasting impressions from this one. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I recognize I'm sounding a little bit like a broken record, but the extra possession thing turned out to be really the key. I think uh, I think Pike had 20 plus turnovers in the in the game, and you just can't do that and, and feel like you're going to have a great chance to win. Um, and I, I, you got to give it to Lawrence North. I mean, they hung in there, they hung in there, and they really started taking better care of the basketball and converting at a at a higher rate down the stretch. And once they got a hold, once they got a hold of the lead, they looked very comfortable in the driver's seat. Ben Davis has taken the floor. Southport beat them to the punch. We'll talk more about those two teams coming up in a few moments. But right now, we'll take a quick timeout, and we'll come back and we'll award our Scott Nichols of State Farm Insurance player of the game. Again, LN wins game one over Pike, 65 to 59, as you are watching on ISC and my Indy TV. Hey, Coast fans, it's your favorite quarterback hater, Rob Mathis, number 98. To date, the Gridiron Game Foundation and I have provided over 300 scholarships to Indiana youth athletes with on and off field life skills development. Our scholarship program has been transformational for many families. Donate today for a chance to watch a coach game with Robert in the Gridiron Game Field Suite at Lucas Oil Stadium. Text Mathis to 765-739-GANG to donate today. Go Colts! Hi there, I'm Jake Query. And I'm Derek Schultz. And we do Query and Schultz on ISC Sports Network. And Derek, unlike Ted Lasso, we have a third season. That's right. Season number three right now, iscsportsnetwork.com. You can see on episodes on Comcast 81 as well, Mondays at 7.30. I'm talking about our show, Jake, this beloved show that people tune into every single week. Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, so many ways to watch Query and Schultz every Monday, 7.30. Tune in and hang out with us. And you don't have to be a goldfish. You'll remember everything we say. Again, the Marion County Mecca of high school basketball. Our cameras are here at least three times a year. For time number one, that would be the Forum Tip-Off Classic. For time number two, tonight and tomorrow night for the Marion County Tournament. And then we're back here for the regional. Come the second Saturday in March, if we can find more reasons to come down here, we will, because Brian Murphy <laughs> is always tremendous to us, our crew, and everybody involved in basketball games being played 
at Southport Fieldhouse. Before we talk about Southport and Ben Davis, got to wrap up game number one. Lawrence North beats Pike 65-59. Time for our Scott Nichols of State Farm Insurance Player of the Game, and it's Xavier Robinson. 26 points, 13 in each half. Congratulations to Xavier. Like a good neighbor, Scott Nichols and State Farm are there. Bill, your impressions of this talented sophomore. Well, he, he plays with great pace, um, and he plays a little bigger than he than he actually is. So he's got perimeter skill, but he can also get to his spots, shoots the floater, got a lot of things going on in his game, and uh, obviously a young man who's just going to keep getting better. Scoring for L.N. Robinson, 26 bowls with 15. Again, 13 of his 15 were at half number two. Two for Hampton, 10 for Good, four for Hughes, eight for Cunningham. Baker and Eads both played briefly, but did not score. Four Pike, Devin Woods, 20, 15 for Joe Spinon, nine for Damon Howard, six for Spates, four for Caskey, three for Douglas, two for Woods. Playing briefly, not scoring, was Meredith in tonight's game for Pike. Pike bows out of the Marion County Tournament in the semifinals for a second consecutive year. Ben Davis and Southport were both semifinalists last year. Southport was beaten by North Central in the semis. Ben Davis lost in overtime to North Central in the semis. One of these teams will play for a Marion County title tomorrow night. Technically, this will end broadcast number one. We'll come back from this time out, and all of our focus will be on these two teams, including the number one team in the state, 16-0, Ben Davis. For now, a temporary goodbye from Southport Fieldhouse. This one won by Lawrence North, 65-59. Thanks for joining us on ISC and My Indy TV. Hi, my name is Jason Warner of Warner Financial, an independent investment firm here in Indianapolis. With 10 years of experience as an